Hello learners, welcome to this lesson. I'm teacher Agnes and today we are going to be discussing how to solve word problems involving fractions that can actually be applied in real life situations. So when we do these questions, try to imagine it, replace your name with the name of the person that I have written there. So let's study this or learn how to do this using an example. So in the first question we have, Ken spends a few of his salary on food, a quarter on fees, and then he saves the remainder, okay? So he has three, you know, his money goes to three things. One, food, then school fees, then savings. If he earns 100,000 shillings, how much does he spend on food, fees, and then savings? So how do we do that? So the question is giving us direction. So even before we solve, let us highlight what is important. The amount of or the fraction that goes to food is one over five. So this is what we use to answer to the question part A. So a fifth of, a fifth of means you do what? We multiply a fifth of his salary, which is 100,000 shillings, is the amount of money that goes to food. So at this point, we just multiply. We want to find out what is 1 over 5 or 100,000. So this is divisible by 5. So by 5, 1, by 5, 20,000. So 1 times 20,000 will be equal to 20,000 shillings. And that is how much he spends on food. Now, part B is asking for the amount of money that he spends on fees. So we'll be guided by the fraction that goes to school fees. So for fees, a quarter of the salary goes to fees. A quarter of, which means multiplication, of the salary, which is 100,000, goes to fees. So we multiply a quarter of 100,000. So by 4, 1, by 4, 25,000. So times 1, we get 25,000 shillings. So Ken spends 25,000 shillings on school fees. Very good. Now, for savings, we do not know the fraction that goes to savings. But the good thing is, there's an easier way to look at this. Out of the 100,000 shillings that Ken earns, he pays for food at 20,000. He pays school fees, 25,000. So the remainder, okay, we have been told that he saves the remainder. So the money that remains after paying for food and fees is the money that he saves. So let us first find out how much does he spend on both food and school fees. So we have 20,000 plus 25,000. This will be equal to 45,000. So this is the much that he spends on food and fees. So out of the 100,000 shillings that he earns, how much remains? So now we have 100,000 minus 45,000 shillings. And this is equal to 55,000 shillings. Ooh, he saves a lot. Okay? So that is how you approach this. So let us do one, ex one other example and see whether we can apply this concept of using fractions to get specific amounts. Okay, so for this second question, um, it says that the distance between Mary's home and her school is 10 kilometers. She runs a fifth of the way and walks for the rest of the journey. So what fraction of the way does she walk? What distance does she walk? So um, the distance between Mary's home, let's say this is her home and this is a school. So this is home 
this is cool. The total distance is 10 kilometers. And then she covers the distance in two ways. First, she runs, okay? Then of course, when she gets tired, she walks to school. So for a session, which is a fifth of the journey, she runs to school. But for the remaining part of the journey, she walks. And now the question is, what is this remaining fraction during which she walks as she heads to school? So the total fraction, since the fraction that she runs is one over five, one out of five. So the total would be five over five. So the whole journey is represented by five over five minus the section where she runs, which is one over five. So how many pigs, you know, do we get to represent the fraction of the journey where she walks to school? So remember these two fractions have the same denominator. So what do we do? Since we are doing subtraction, we just subtract the numerators and retain the denominator. So five minus one is four over five. So Mary walks four feet of the entire journey. Now, what distance does she walk? So remember, this is a fraction, okay? So she walks four over five of the entire journey, which is how many kilometers? Which is 10 kilometers. So this will be equal to four over five. Remember, of means you do what? You multiply by 10, which is equal to five divided by five is one, 10 divided by five is two. So four times two is eight kilometers. So the section of the journey where she walks is eight kilometers. What if we wanted to determine the distance where she runs? What do we do? Two ways to do that. One, we know that the entire journey is 10 kilometers and she walks for eight kilometers. So what is the remainder? So you do 10 kilometers minus eight kilometers, which gives you two kilometers. Or you can take, since we know that the fraction of the journey during which she runs is one over five, you can determine what is one over five of 10. By five one, by five two, so you still get two kilometers. So you can approach that question using any of the two methods. Now for your practice, you will attempt this question which states, a computer has a memory of 250 GBs. If three fifths of the memory is already used, how much memory is unused? Okay. Also, you can try and replace this with the space of your computer. If your computer has 500 GB, you can use that instead of 250. And then you try to find out uh, how much of the space in the memory has not been used up. I hope you enjoyed being in this lesson. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.